Hey guys, Laura at Teal House Farm here. I just wanted to give you a no waste November update. This is week one down. If you remember, our goal was to get down to one 13 gallon kitchen trash bag of waste a week for our family of eight. I have one Walmart trash bag that is mostly um, dirty diapers that were used um, when Patton was with a babysitter. We couldn't use our cloth diapers and also a couple that we used overnight. And then this is our trash can. Whoop. And it is pretty full, but it is all just um, kitchen waste. It's bags, got several crushed milk jugs in here, and several other plastic containers. We do not have municipal recycling or any recycling available to us. I cannot recycle plastic or metal. So everything that was plastic or metal ends up in that trash can. So we really focused on not using any one-time disposable products as much as we can in buying food products that were not packaged, which is not always possible, but it was somewhat possible. And when we did have to buy packaging, we focused on cardboard or compostable packaging. I keep a compost bucket under the sink. I've emptied this once this week, which I basically do every week so it doesn't get smelly. It's a five gallon bucket. And I also have a burn barrel. I have emptied it one time this week, and this is what has accumulated in the last couple days. So we are not producing an immense amount of paper or cardboard waste, but we are producing some, and that is getting burned since I cannot recycle. So overall, it's going really well. Love to know how you are doing. We will keep you up to date. And I'm going to try to make some posts with just some of our hacks and how we've really been able to reduce our waste, not just this month, but just over this long journey we've been on towards going no waste. My goal this week, this coming week, is to get down to one true 13-gallon trash bag. We're not going to have an extra with that Walmart bag with a little bit of overflow. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys next time.